How to train a poodle. Poodles are often underestimated for their intelligence by people unfamiliar with the breed. Poodles are smart and eager to please and versatile, which makes training way easier. In this video, you'll learn everything about how to train a poodle, so make sure you watch till the end. And if you're looking for a new puppy for your family, Puppy Spot is the best place. Click on the links in the description to find out more about Puppy Spot. Training a poodle means more than having him or her come to you when you call. There are certain steps you need to follow when training a poodle. But firstly, let's start by what you need to start training a poodle. Training your poodle should begin right from when he comes home with you. It's a common thought amongst new puppy owners that they can't start training until their puppy's a certain age. By eight weeks old, he's ready to begin training and is more than capable of learning new skills. If you start training early on, you'll get yourself a well-mannered poodle. If you haven't already started, then what are you waiting for? Start by crate training your poodle to avoid any trouble while it's still young. The need for a crate is usually just in the beginning, before your poodle pup is properly potty trained and while he's still teething. After your poodle has mastered the potty training score and is no longer biting and chewing everything in sight, the need for a crate becomes less and there may only be a few occasions when you need it. Before you crate train it, you must choose a crate that makes your dog feel safe and comfortable. Space has a lot to do with how well your puppy will behave on a crate. Too small and he'll feel trapped. After you've chosen the best crate, locate the crate in your bedroom near to your bed. The main use of this crate will be throughout the night. You'll want your puppy to be safe so you can sleep without worries. By having the crate in the same room as you or next to your bed, he will automatically feel more at ease, less anxious and less lonely throughout the night. Make the crate cozy and comfortable. The crate should feel like a den to your puppy. To make it more den-like, you should place a warm, soft comfort blanket inside at one end. After your crate is located properly and you've made all the necessary adjustments to the crate, continue by introducing your poodle to the crate. Have your crate door open and bring your puppy into the same room and let him inspect the crate at his own pace. At this very initial stage, do not urge him to go inside. Allow him to sniff around and get familiar with the presence of the crate. Start using the word crate whenever he gets near to or interacts with the crate. Spend at least 10 minutes like this. After spending some time around the crate, it's time for your pup to go inside. You should sit down next to the crate and encourage him to enter by using your hand and toys. Once he has entered the crate, give him his favorite treat. Repeat this process until your dog stays in the crate for at least a minute. While he stays in the crate, try and keep him there with toys, games and treats. After you've done these first two steps several times, you'll want to now close the door when your pup enters. Offer another treat through the crate to distract him from the action of closing the door. Stay there beside the crate. By this stage, your puppy should be comfortable with the crate and not see or associate it with any negative thoughts. You can now use the crate to ensure that your puppy doesn't run into messes. Moreover, this will serve a great deal whilst you're driving with your dog. The crate is there to ensure your dog's safety. Crate training is there to introduce your dog to basic obedience training. After you've successfully completed it, asserting dominance is essential. It's important to let your new puppy know that you are in charge of making and enforcing the rules. There's no need to be loud or aggressive with your dog. This will make your poodle respect you. Instead, keep your demeanor calm as you kindly and firmly tell your pup that you are in charge. One of the most important things that your poodle needs to learn is how not to bite. Many people find it surprising that this cute breed is capable of biting. However, the poodle, by nature, is an aggressive chewer. He'll love to bite and chew things, not just when he's a puppy, but throughout his adult life too. When he's a puppy, it's nearly always down to the teething process. This is the process of your puppy gaining his baby teeth, losing those baby teeth, and then lastly, gaining his adult teeth. There are four steps you can follow to teach your poodle not to bite. The first step is intervening. Once your puppy starts biting something he shouldn't, the first thing you need to do is to intervene. The goal is to startle him and take his attention away from what he's biting. Raise your voice slightly and in a firm tone, call his name. 
The second step is to inform your poodle. The point of this step is to start teaching your puppy what no means. So, once you gain the attention after calling his name, you should firmly and in a slightly raised voice say no. The point is to build an association between what they should not be doing and the word no. The third step is replacing what it was chewing with something that he is allowed to chew. Use one of his favorite toys to immediately take his attention away from what he was not allowed to bite. The last step is to praise your cute puppy. Once your puppy starts biting his toy, it's time to praise him heavily. This is positively reinforcing that biting should be done only with this object. After this breed has successfully mastered how to hold its bite and how to stay on a crate, you must continue by potty training it. This involves dedicating an area of your house for your poodle to use as a bathroom. Once you've chosen an area that is accessible at all seasons, introduce your puppy to it. Observe when your dog needs to go outside and each time assist it in doing so. When the poodle finishes its business, you can say, good potty. Praise your pup and offer a treat when the dog is done. Then play with him. In time, your dog will learn that good potty means to eliminate and you'll be able to tell your poodle where and when to go. Teach your poodle to sit, lay down and follow other commands. Teaching your poodle how to sit, lay down, come and follow your directions is mostly just a matter of patience and consistency. It will take him some time to learn the terms and what they mean, but once your dog does, expect it to follow your commands. It's significant that you always associate your command with a reward. This will incentivize your poodle to repeat the same behavior. Besides offering its favorite treats, a poodle is that kind of breed that appreciates affection. Praise, happy talk, or a simple good dog may be the best type of reward there is for a poodle. For example, if you teach your dog to sit down with a click, followed by a treat, you can add in good dog as you deliver the treat. Soon, your dog will learn to associate that happy praise with the treat or tug, and good dog will become its own reward. With proper socialization, consistency, and time spent on training every day, your poodle pup will grow into a well-mannered member of the family. Clearly, training your dog involves an incredible amount of patience and can be a headache at times, but having a poodle makes it a much easier process. Your poodle will always be willing to make you happy, and their intelligence makes them catch on to routines very quickly. So what do you think about how to train a poodle? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. And if you're looking for a new puppy for your family, Puppy Spot is the best place. They only qualify the highest quality breeders in the country and have already placed over 150,000 healthy puppies in loving homes. Click on the links in the description to find out more about Puppy Spot. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you so much for watching.